Did you call bank? I call game. What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and I have a world record announcement. So the speed run that I made about like nine months ago for NBA 2K18, where you go to play now and try to score 50 points as fast as possible. The world record was beaten about a couple weeks ago by a user called wrinkles so congratulations to him i'm gonna show you the run right now and you guys should try the run out too it's very beatable right now wrinkles did it in seven minutes and 59 seconds and it could be dropped even more the only requirements for the speed run is that you play on play now play on pro difficulty and then just try to score 50 points as much as possible you have to show all your settings before you start the game to make sure you're not cheating and that's it you just upload to speedrun.com and you you could be a world record holder if you get the world record you get a free shout out on my channel you should do it man anyways enough talking here is the run and it's the warriors to start out now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Three. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, lethal shooting pair of Clay and KD out on the perimeter. It's small ball with Iguodala and Green down low. And it's Curry in at the one spot. And how about last season Steve Kerr becoming the fastest coach in NBA history to reach the 200-win plateau? This guy has had nothing but success in his first run and already considered one of the elite coaches in the league. And it's the Knicks with the ball, following the score by Golden State. Hardaway passes to Persingas. Let's it go. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. New York on D. Thompson. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Thompson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And a nice replay of the long-range three-pointer, courtesy of Under Armour. The Unleash Chaos moment. The shot's good from Cantor. I love that Cantor will pursue rebounds out of his area. This guy's such a powerful player who's willing to exert his will. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Cantor's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. For New York, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Puts up a three. And again, New York with the triple. Nice little back and forth going here. Well, I love how personal this thing is getting. If you drain a three on me, anything you can do, I can do better. And Thompson gets it to go. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Now Burke. All alone. And it's hauled in by Andre Iguodala. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pushing their lead to double digits. Eight points for Kevin Durant. Oh, great ball movement there. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Hits the three-point pop. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? Here's Curry with the three. It's rebounded by New York. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I caught up with Coach Jeff Warnesec. They've had a tough time so far against this team losing both contests. He said they're really tough to deal with because of their intelligence and execution offensively. You have to play mistake-free basketball to get the upper hand. We just haven't been able to do that so far. We'll see if tonight is any different. Kevin? Thanks for the report, David. So it's about one key area, guys, keeping the opposing field goal percentage to a minimum. And, Kevin, that's not an easy task against an opponent that can shoot the ball as well as this team can. 
Well, true, Greg, but they can do it as long as they're quick with their defensive help on the perimeter, and I think a key to that, communication. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Golden State. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And so New York calls timeout. Go first. Well, you just watch the way that Klay Thompson shoots, and you're surprised when the ball doesn't go in. I mean, one thing with Klay, too, in his shot, he believes it's always going to go in. More importantly, so does his teammate. And he's got that shooter's mentality where he just will continue to trust in his mechanics. And I don't think he gets enough credit for just how hard he works to maintain that shot. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Here's Persingas. No good again that time. Well, I'll tell you, he has plenty of space, but it looked like a little bit of a hitch in that release. Thompson for the triple. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Burke kicks to Persingas. Some nice passing by New York here. New York, no good that time either. A nightmare quarter for this guy. Simply can't buy a bucket. Curry, good. I, the supreme confidence from Steph Curry to attempt that shot, let alone make it. Impossible to measure this guy's range. Now, here's Burke. And there's the pass to Persingas. Hardaway with a wide open look. They get it again. Here's Cantor. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Cantor's got eight. Off to a fantastic start. He's four for five. Watch out. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Hardaway with it. Guarded now by Durant. Krill's the three-pointer. Six points for him. Nilakina continues to impress from deep. He's definitely showing he's comfortable shooting it from beyond. I mean, he hit that shot from the next town over, Kev. What, what a shot. And here is Burke after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. They set the pick. So the wing on the left takes a three. Burke can't get it to go. Warriors leading by 18 for three. Durant, good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got five assists in the game. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Now here's Burke. Pass to Nilakina. Outside, Brzingis. He dishes it to Cantor. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. How about five of six to start? Looks like he brought his A game. Durant attacking, and then Durant with the dunk. Boy, the strength of Kevin Durant is a thing of beauty. How about the ability to stay under control as he gets bodied? The wide open look here for Perzingis, and again, it's New York. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Here's Durant, six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Boy, think about last season for Kevin Durant, guys. He was putting up yet another MVP-type season before that knee injury made him miss extended time. But then he comes back, and he's the MVP of the NBA Finals. I think he'd make that trade, guys. Catching up on the changes for New York. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Canton. Beasley comes in for Persingas. Lee's checked in for Neela King. And it's Moutier in for Trey Burke. Green inside the three-point line. And the Warriors tack on two more. And for Durant last season was filled with so much scrutiny for his decision to leave Oklahoma City, go to Golden State. Still, he was having an elite year with his offense before that knee issue. Well, there was so much talk about where Kevin Durant chose to play that people tended to forget a few things. This is one. That is it for this video, guys. Do you think you can beat it? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Did you call back?